A lot of commenters said, I should start at the first song he did that went viral, Dear Rappers. So I have it pulled up here, and I want to do my reaction to it. I don't honestly even know what to expect by this. Okay, let's listen to the song, Dear Rappers. It says here, he uploaded it on August 11th, 2017. So what's that, about four years old? 18, 19, 20, 21, yeah, about four years old. So we're right there. Let's check it out. Man, it's easy for these rappers who have it all. Talk about the days when they used to be sad. I guess I can't relate to being famous and wealthy. I'm 28 and still praying for the day I have a chance. Maybe y'all can help me out, though. I'm just trying to take care of my household. I don't even want to make my mouth go. I just want to win before the system that I'm in gets a hold of me again and starts to squeeze under my chin until I'm out cold. Woo! Woo! -hoo -hoo -hoo. Wow. There's the inner demons from the best rapper ever song. So now I'm going back to the very first one. Apparently, this is the song that went viral, and uh, this is it. This is the beginning. So, I need to remind myself, this isn't Famous Tom with all the fans. I don't know if he had... Hog probably didn't exist, I'm assuming. Maybe someone can let me know down below. That's a good question. Um, I just read a comment from... What's his name? Randall. Shout out to Randall. Um... He said a lot of the early music wasn't that great. So um, I just exposed Randall. Sorry. <laughs> um. Dear rappers, can you help me? I'll even take a selfie with your album that I bought. I got every single CD <laughs> no that you way. never fucking drop. I spent everything I had and I never had a lot. Oh I know exactly how that feels, you know, to be like, look, look. Because when you start a YouTube channel, when I started a skateboard YouTube channel, it's like, what can I do for you? I asked another YouTuber that had a lot of subscribers like, hey, can you do a tutorial where you teach an old man to do a trick, you know? And uh, luckily he agreed to do it. And I told him, no matter what, I'll at least give you a slam, I promise. Because in our sport, non-sport skateboarding, we spend time teaching a lot of people and it takes balls, straight up. It takes balls and most people don't end up having the balls to do it. So by me saying, look, you invested time in me, I'm going to give you a crash. Well, right after I gave him the crash, you know, I'm thinking about this is for YouTube. Now, I've done this for nearly five years and I don't make crap, you know, $100 a month kind of thing with five years of making stuff. Eight, nine hundred skateboarding videos. I mean, that ain't crap compared to what I've invested. That ain't crap. But you know what? I'm thinking of my kids. When I'm about to try this trick, for those of you who skate, it's called a sweeper. When I'm about to try this trick, I'm scared. I'm scared to death. But I'm thinking of my children, man. On a stupid YouTube video, I'm thinking of my kids. Thinking that this might help me get some subscribers. If he feels confident about the video, he's going to upload. So I need to do my best and try my hardest. And just maybe, maybe I get lucky and I learn this trick. And right after I fell, boom, I got the trick. I jumped up, wiped the blood off and said, you know what? I got it now. I got it now. I took the measurements while I crashed and now I know what to do. It was a great video. It helped my channel out a lot. And it sent me soaring over some of the other channels that were around there at the same time. So there is a cost. We think about our family and our kids when we do these things. So he's dear rappers, dear rappers, can you help me? I mean, full on. Who doesn't get that? Let's see. Oh my God, what a mess. Your words help me deal with the stress. Used to contemplate my suicide the nights I was depressed. Used to pop you in a boombox and sit up on my desk. Listen to your music till I felt it in my chest. But these days it's like you don't have nothing left. Your music feels kind of like you're trying to write a check. Everything is digital. I mean no disrespect, but I'm paying even more and you give me even less. I'm paying even more and you give me even less. Wow. I feel like that's what happened to rap music, you know? After the Slim Shady era. Uh, trailer Park Girls, like when that song came out, like even before then, but that song, everybody I knew was just, they had that permanent fixture in their car because that song was so catchy, you know? And, and uh, yeah, I knew a few of those guys with the lasers and did all those raves and yeah, anyway.
This is another life. Feels like another life anyway. What the fuck? You taught me to think, you taught me to grow, you taught me the things to survive on my own. But now you teach me to drink, you teach me to smoke, you teach me to think. Every woman's a hoe. I don't want you. Yeah, man. Terrible, terrible role models. You watch those videos, and these children, these kids, are just deluded by reality. And there's nothing close to reality in any of that. So I'm glad that Tom's out here spitting these lyrics and bringing attention to the fact that most of this is BS. Let's listen to more. There's an X bars on your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's art. No, 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 no. Yeah. Kind of feels like he's tripping on some Vicodin right now or Xanax or whatever, you know, kind of just kind of just zoning out like he doesn't have that pop, you know, that he has as successful Tom. I mean, the lyrics are all there and the story's there and it's perfect. But this this uh, slower, more sad melody. It just doesn't quite have what best rapper ever has. I mean, he's come a long way in his rapping, no doubt. But man, you can almost see into this video and see the pain. And see the pain in the struggle. Just a drug addict on TV. I can't hear another fucking song about abusing medication that I had to take just to stay alive. There's more important shit than what you wear and where you live and who you fucking, what you drink and what you spend and what you drive. Rappers full of bullshit. Rappers just a marketing vehicle for the product that the man wants you to buy. Rap about a full clip. Rappers just promoting different liquors and varieties of ways that you could die. Yeah. Dear rappers, can you help me? Are you almost out of alcohol to sell me? Tell me, cause drinking every night can be the way to getting wealthy If I'm really being honest, all the shit is overwhelming I need someone to look up to You're living in a country that He needs someone to look up to And he has become That someone to look up to I bet And you know, I don't even know any super fam <laughs> You wanna hear something funny? I hear there's a rapper called Drake I don't know what he looks like. I've never heard one song. I couldn't pick him out of the lineup. And if I heard his most popular song, I wouldn't know who it is. So, and like, I was kind of hard on Eminem in my last Best Rappers reaction on my other channel. I was sort of hard on Eminem. And I realized in 20 years, I haven't heard any raps Eminem's done. Um, because when he got political, I got over it fast. That was it. I mean, if I was ever, I'm one of those guys. If a ball team does something, if an actor says something, I will write you off. When Netflix had cuties, I just heard about it. I didn't look at it. I didn't need to look at it. Cancel. Canceled it. I don't want to be a part of promoting businesses that are out there doing things to bring my children down you know my kids are homeschooled because i don't trust the system i don't want the brainwashing i don't want the programming you know no way not my kids no cell phones they don't do any of that my 13 year old has got the mentality of a 13 year old but the average 13-year-old has the mentality of an 18-year-old nowadays. Some of the kids I know, they're consumed with taking selfies and Snapchat and whatever. And you know what my daughter does? She plays with little figurines of little animal families and things like that. And you know what? I like that. I want to give her and my boys time to be kids. Time to develop without feeling pressured or pushed or manipulated or mind controlled. You know, and those schools are doing that. Some people want to say, you're crazy. What are you talking about? Re-education camps. There's no re-education camps. You know what? There's a Twinkie with wheels on. It's been taking kids to re-education camps for years. That's what I'm saying. If Tom's going to say it, 
I'm going to say it. And I don't know that Tom even agrees with what I'm saying, but that's my opinion. So I'm going to say it. You know what? That's what I love about this man right here because he puts it out there. He states the facts. Facts matter. All right, let's listen to some more. That elected Donald Trump. You're living in a country where police are... Don't even get me started on Trump, you know. Honestly, I'm not one of those Trumpians. But he was a heck of a lot better pick than the other dude. Ah, I can go on all night. Just stop me. Stop me. Killing people every day and all you want to talk about is doing drugs. You've been blinded by the money. You've been blinded by the cars. You've been blinded by the women. Don't know who the fuck you are. Thought I knew you when I spent $100 on a ticket to your show. And now I feel like you stole my fucking money and I'm broke. Man, you taught us how to rap and you taught us how to dress and you taught us how to act if we wanted to impress. Now you're teaching me to live like I know you never would. What you're preaching to these kids is keeping them inside the hood. your Xanax bars, all your fancy foreign cars. Throw your money in my face and try to tell me that it's yeah, this is real mellow, man. This is real depressing. He's like going around looking like he's drugged up right now, like currently like he's sedated, you know, like the system, the system just works on, you know, I was just talking to a friend right now is dealing with a lot of anxiety and I'm like, are you sure it's not the social media, you know, because they eat healthy, they drink clean water, you know, they exercise, but they're on social media all the time. And I just feel like that vibration will screw your own vibration up. And if you want to, I don't know. I mean, if I had a panic attack once, once, man, I thought I was dying. And my faith brought me through it quick. You know, I was able, I was with my kid at the skate park. And all of a sudden, I started to get tunnel vision. And all of a sudden, I had to take this mad crap, like, out of nowhere, you know? I drank a couple Monster Energy drinks that day. I didn't drink any water, and I was sweating my A off out there. And I didn't even have to take a crap. I thought I had to. It seemed real. And then I make it down to my car with my son at the time, who's like eight. And I'm like, come on, God. Don't let me go. Don't let me go. I need to stay here for my boy. I need to stay here for my boy. Just relax. And I just paced myself and I paced my breath. And then I got him to get me some water and I'm going, man. I'm like, it's turning black on me. But I could still hear his voice. My kid's voice. You know, daddy, you're going to be okay. And my kid started to pray, you know, and wow, dude. Here comes the light again back in my body. Thank God. You know, my engine was running, the AC was on. And you know what? If my kid was all by himself, eight years old at the skate park, that would have been a really scary scenario for him. And I knew I needed to be there for him. So yeah, anyway, that's, let's get back to the song. Roman, come on, dude. Based on the ending of this song. Now, I don't know. Did Nova help him on this video too? Um, yeah. Can someone answer that down below? Because I'm curious. Because based on the end of this song, I can kind of figure out, I think, where maybe his early music was at. You know, like, it's a real sedated feeling, you know, that felt very sedated to me. Um, honestly, I didn't really much care for a lot of the music in this or that last little segment there, the more mellow music. Uh, uh, lyrically, lyrically still great, you know, what he's singing about. I totally dig that. But this is definitely a few steps down from the first song I heard, Dear Rappers. I mean, that song honestly is one of the favorite songs I've ever heard. But this is the one that went viral. And I get it because of the content and what he's saying, you know, 
He's really giving a message out there to these guys like, yo, I've been your fan. Why don't you help me? And I think that's what makes me love Tom already with this limited as with the limited exposure that I already have. What makes me feel the way I feel about Tom is I feel like he's that guy that helps his fans out like these people doing all these reaction. I've seen a lot of people doing reaction videos to Tom's songs and they're getting so much love from the fans and the love is just it's from Tom to the fans and the fans to Tom and the fans to people doing reaction videos and the way this is shared it's like everybody benefits a little bit and it's great and I think that the fact that Tom has avoided he's avoided a label he's able to say what he wants to say he's able to do it his way and the way he's built up this fan base it's like this circle you know and I think the sky's the limit for him. And I think that he, in the end, is going to be looked up and is now being looked up to by these rappers with big labels. They might not want to admit it, but when they understand that he has the freedom to say and do what he wants to do, that he doesn't have to tote that line. You know what I mean? That party line. I mean, especially right now. You know, be edgy. They all can't be edgy anymore, man. They got to say what the man wants them to say, but not Tom, not Tom and not me. And so maybe by listening to Tom's music, I can feel a little better about putting my opinions out there as well, because in the end, dude, something needs to change. Peace out, guys. I love you. Please, in the comments down below, what's the next song? So I don't even have a clue to hear that. So I'm going to count on you guys. Hopefully you'll come find me at my other channel. I really hope. All right. Peace. Love. Hashtag. Hashtag. This is not some black nail polish. This is uh, this is paint. I put a handprint on my skate helmet. And it was a dumb, it was a dumb thing to do. So anyway, hashtag H-O-G. Right? Hangover gang, you guys rule, man. Peace out. Later.